Hi everyone, it's Miss Nergis. Hope you guys are doing really great. From today, I'm going to continue with you guys. Each Saturday, you're having science lesson with me. So study hard, stay tuned with me, and try not missing the classes as well. So let's get started. Uh, today, we're going to talk about light. Unit 2, Chapter 2, Lesson 1, which is page 214. Light is also a kind of energy, and it always goes on a straight line, straight line, until a barrier comes, or blocks it. Well, light is like the most important thing in our life, because without light, we cannot live. Why? Because the plants, for example, take benefit from light. From light, they make uh, food for themselves, and then we eat those plants we eat the animal which is, which has been eating it like it's a serious okay that's why without light we cannot live shadows shadows are made when an object blocks that light to pass through those three kids which are standing in front of a wall they see their shadow why because they have blocked the sunlight to pass through them that's why the blocked areas of light will show up like a shadow on the wall. Okay. Uh, reflection of light. Three things will happen to light when they are passing uh, through things, when they are hitting an object, when they are hitting a surface. Three things will happen to them. One of them is... <coughs> reflection of light is the bouncing of light of an object bouncing off well this bouncing off is like if you see uh, if you look at the animated picture as you see the light hits the surface of the mirror and then goes back or bounces back but in another direction this is bouncing of light let me give you a very good example of reflection of light in real life it's the mirror. When you look at yourself in a mirror, it's not you. It's just a reflected picture of you. Okay? This is the very common example of reflection of light because like your picture goes to the screen of the mirror and then reflect it back. Or in another word, it bounces back, bouncing off to your eyes. That's why you can see yourself in a mirror. But why can't you see yourself in a wall? Because it's not smooth. This is happening because a mirror has a very, very smooth surface, but wall is rough. That's why you can't see yourself in it. The second thing that will happen to light refraction of light the bending of light when it moves from one kind of matter to another well as i told you always all of the times light is going to like in a straight line no bending no turning around no anything but when it moves to another type of matter for example from gas goes to liquid it's gonna change it's gonna bend how now, I'm pretty sure that you guys, most of you guys have done this, putting a pencil in a glass of water and uh, it looks like it's broken and thicker as well. And you say, yay, I've done a great a magic trick. Mommy, daddy, look at it. It's a magic trick. Well, my darling, it's not a magic trick. It's just a refraction of light, the bending of light. Why? Because the light which hits the pencil the light which hits the pencil will change from gas to liquid. Now, the light hits the pencil from both sides, like from the one which is in the gas and the one which is in the liquid part. So it's going to change. The speed of light is going to change. It's because of the speed of light which is slowing down in the liquid particle. Okay, that's why you see it as if it's broken but it's not the third thing that will happen to light is the absorption of light 
which literally means the stopping light. When the light stops in a point, this is called absorption of light. That's why we can see one color of objects. One question, what is the color of your clothes right now? Well, mine is purple. Why do I see it this color? Why? What makes it like to look like this color? Why not green? Why not yellow? Why not orange? Why is it purple? Because when the light hits like my uh, shirt, which is purple, light hits it, but it's going to absorb all of the colors, but the purple one. It's the same as you see in this picture. This person is looking at a leaf, one leaf. It looks green, right? And you've seen it already. You know that is green. Why does it look green? Because when the light hits it, hits the leaf, it's going to absorb all of the other colors, but the green one, which will not be absorbed. Why? Because the surface of the uh, leaf is green. That's why the green light will not be absorbed. And coming back to your eyes and you see it. Okay. Now, when light wants to pass through, uh, to pass through something, we have three types of objects according to their reflection and absorption of the light. Remember, it's all about reflection and absorption of light. Reflection and absorption. The three types of objects, transparent, transparent, translucent, and opaque objects. The first one, transparent objects, does not reflect or absorb much light. Look, we said that it's all about reflection and absorption. Transparent objects, you can see things through it, just like a glass, like your window in your house, in your classroom. It does not reflect or absorb much light. No reflection, no absorption. That's why you'll be able to see anything through it. The second one, translucent object, reflect and absorb some light. Look, translucent object is like in between, in between of transparent and opaque objects because it's reflecting and absorbing some of the light. Not none of it, not all of it. Some of the light will be reflected and absorbed. The third one, well, uh, sorry, about the translucent object, you can still see uh, things through it, but it's kind of blurry. It's not so clear to see. It's not like the transparent. You can see, but blurry, not so clear. The third one, which is the opaque, opaque object, reflect or absorb all light. Whatever light hits it, they will be either reflected, just like a mirror, or absorbed, just like any other uh, type of uh, matter. You can't see anything through opaque object. Why? Because it's reflecting all of the light or absorbing all of the light. Time for homework. Okay. Try to find two opaque, two transparent, and two translucent objects in your house. And I do have a question, which I have brought this question from the lesson review of your book which is an example of light energy being used. Water boiling, a plant growing, a ball bouncing, a girl lifting a chair. Thank you students for listening and studying and please study in those subjects really, really, really well. Okay, thank you. And you can find all those in your books to highlight them. Thanks.